I am Miranda Lopez and I work for Clark County Public Art. Um, today we're here at the Winchester Cultural Center and this is where we're holding our show from July 9th until August 16th of the and beyond show. 16 artists were selected for this gallery. Um, we have really amazing work. They're all space themed. That was the gallery call. Hey, my name is Fernando Reyes. I am a local artist. I've been here almost 10 years. This is called The Mother Brain Connection, and the title is a play on an album by Parliament Funkadelic called The Mothership Connection. But the image of the brain itself, I got the inspiration for it from a story by Roald Dahl. He wrote Willy Wonka, and there's a story where he, he describes his brain in a jar being kept alive, and that's where I got the image. Now the female, she's inspired by somebody I met a few weeks ago, but really it, it represents the female force that I think is the creative force of the universe, like Mother Nature. Hi, my name is Bindia Halor. I'm a resident of a place called Henderson in Nevada. The piece that we have here today as part of the and beyond exhibition at uh, Winchester Gallery here is Bands of Jupiter. Um, the one that you see behind me is an abstract cosmic impressionism style. For me, galaxies, nebulae, stars have been really a source of inspiration for a long time. I reckon from the time we saw something called Fireball XL5 in black and white, you know, on to going on to the stars, studying them and basically having a science background and an art, imagination, visual side too. Bringing this together meant a lot to me because most of the times when we're dreaming of stars and galaxies, we have to understand where we come from, what's, what lays in between and inspire, get inspired by that. Jupiter for me has had a fascination for a very long time. The largest planet in the solar system, about 13,000 Earths can sit inside this planet. Planet. However, you cannot land on this planet. You see, it's completely, completely non-land based planet, gaseous planet. Yet, there are beauties. The tapestry of Jupiter has got to do with red spots on its cyclonic patterns, bands moving across parallel to the equator of the Jupiter and generating a beauty that is just unbound. Hello, I'm Don Michael, Las Vegas artist and I have some pieces here hanging in the and beyond show at the Winchester Cultural Center. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to my pieces. Here we have Dark Matters. Um, this is one that I did intentionally painting space. And then here we have one called Separation Anxiety. This one was an, an abstract. I just started pushing paint and uh, next thing I knew it started growing into this these forms and I just kept pushing it until it felt like it was done. The same thing with this one. This one I call a simple truth. It is uh, kind of has that black hole feel and what I as I got towards the end of this one I thought you know is are we looking at it going in or are we looking at it from the other side and so I just wanted to call, keep the title kind of an abstract also. Nancy Good. Um, the art piece is Supernova. It is a mixed media piece uh, incorporating uh, spray paint, uh, metallics, uh, my typical acrylic and latex uh, paints as well that I use for much larger works. I love uh, communicating the greater expanse of our experience because it is limited to this very uh, hard plane. <laughs> And so trying to think of ways to express the energy and the vibration and the dynamics, um, I, I thought that was going to be a fun challenge. Love group shows. Um, one, because it helps me to meet new artists that um, are doing great work in Las Vegas. And it potentially builds relationships for future collaborations. Um, I also have a gallery, so I'm always looking for new art and thinking about what would fit in the gallery. Hello, my name is Nasto Zalmai. I paint under the moniker Migs. This is my piece, Day of Black Sun. Uh, it happened after a breakup, and I started with an oil painting landscape, and then that turned into uh, making it more abstract and putting a black sun in there, and then 
a tiger walking a path and if you look really closely you can see some balloons in the top right corner. Uh, it, those were done with spray paint, most of the rest was done with oil and then I put resin over the whole thing and that's what gives it that glossy coat. The name of this one is PRNCS and uh, you know just like the last one that happened after a breakup um, this one was really meaningful to me because uh, it made me very introspective in my behavior in relationships and it, it kind of symbolized my part in what I thought was hurting someone else. Hi, this is my piece. Uh, it's called Home, Past, Present, Future and it is looking at Mars and the Mojave landscape in photographs. So from close-up views, which might be only 10 centimeters, to big views from um, Google Earth, from aerial images, and from NASA images. So I teach middle school and high school science, and I teach about space. And we always go over Mars every year and we talk about, could we live on Mars? What would it be like? What would we need to do? And so for me, I'm very interested in that, but I'm also interested in our public lands around us, our Mojave landscape. And so I thought it would be neat to kind of compare the two with each other and how there's some similarities in uh, textures and topography. Hello, my name is Manuel Batista. I am 20-year-old artist uh, here in Vegas. Um, I'm currently a junior in UNLV studying film, and art is my passion. Super honored to be have my painting, um, Lluvia de Planetas, which um, translates to planetary rain. Um, this painting talks about, um, it, it asks the questions of our existence. So often we often try to find um, what's the meaning in life. And, um, you know, while we try to go out to space and look for new planets and look for new things out in the solar system, I believe that the question to our existence is right here, you know, in the ground that we walk in, in, in the air that we breathe, in the rain every day. Every drop of rain is life itself. So it's all, it's all just a message to take care of our ecosystem and, you know, appreciate the world that we have.